What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well I'm under the belief that altcoins may be in position to finally catch up to Bitcoin and actually see a little bit of growth for themselves and so I want to cover that for you today and show you exactly what you need to be on the lookout for so you know if your altcoins are about to pump. So today we're going to focus on two main charts, the crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin or total two. And we're also going to be focusing on Bitcoin dominance, which I will explain in a second. So total two, again, is the market cap of all altcoins. And what you can see here is that it has made some absolutely fantastic progress. So, of course, this includes every altcoin you can think of, your Ethereum's, your Maddox, your Ada's, your Solana's, your XRP's. And what you can see is that we have slowly started to melt through some of these absolutely crucial levels of resistance. So, of course, what we can see here over the last year or so, we had been in a bit of descending structure. Now, descending structure is historically bullish. Descending structure, especially at the bottom of a move to the downside, historically will break to the upside. And this historically in the macro says that we are coming towards the bottom of the bear market. Now, as we were playing out, you know, throughout this descending structure and breaking out of that descending structure, you can also see that we were positioning ourselves very closely to seeing an inverse head and shoulders playing out here, as you can see. Now, we saw something very similar on the Bitcoin charts, but this one specifically is important because it also coincides with descending structure. So, of course, we had this massive level of bullish structure here. Now, we have this massive level of bullish structure here. Both of these things say that the altcoins specifically are getting ready and prepared to see some type of stronger move to the upside. Now, of course, one of the main concerns that we had was that as we were approaching this current level that we're at around $606 billion, that we were seeing some type of possible double top playing out, right? In which we would possibly see some type of pullback towards the bottom side because we are running into resistance here. But over the last few days, we have done a decent job at breaking through this key level of resistance. And although we have not officially cleared it, it is looking better and better like we may get that move. Even if we do see a bit of a pullback, I think we may very well get that move, especially from what we're seeing on this daily chart prime oscillator so what you can see here is that as we are getting this move above um, 615 to 605 billion dollars we're actually seeing some bullishness still on that daily chart prime oscillator for example in the last two times that we approached the top side of this wedge let's go ahead and call it right here let's go ahead and call it right there what we can see is that we were getting massive signs that this was going to happen so of course we got this overbought reading flashing with the reversal triangle and the bearish divergence once you get this bearish divergence you are extremely likely to pull back okay you can look back here again we got this overbought reading with the bearish reversal triangle and we got this bearish divergence once we got bearish divergence then we got the pullback to the downside again it almost always happens but rather this time as we were breaking that resistance we didn't get that we've not even got the overbought reading yet nor any bearish divergence nor a reversal triangle nor the peak finder we haven't got this blue peak finder flashing yet all of these things say that there's a lot of room back to the upside to work and even if we do need to see a continued bit of a pullback towards the downside before we we can continue it does seem as if we're finally opening up these doors to break towards the top side so well what does this mean well this means that we're in position to see our altcoins finally break some of these key resistance levels that they're underneath what you can see is that ethereum is in a massive key level of resistance currently sitting below two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars to two thousand dollars and it needs to break the zone to really see some growth you look at something like solana solana is in this descending wedge and currently sitting beneath 2705 which was the structural low before the FTX crash did happen, meaning it's a massively important level. What you can see is that BNB is still sitting below $337, which is a massively important level, especially considering the fact that it's rejected us over the last year. What you can see is XRP is still struggling to clear this double bottom MLR, this mid-level of resistance, currently sitting at $0.55, cents, a massive point of resistance. Ada Cardano, Ada Cardano is sitting between this massive point of support and resistance between $0.43 and $0.42, cents, which held us up back here and is now rejecting us right here as you can see all of our altcoins are sitting beneath a massive level of resistance and if this is going to be indicative it could be indicating that we are going to start to see some of those break towards the upside rather soon now again there is no guarantee here and it's not for sure going to happen we could easily see bitcoin of course starting to pull back towards the downside get a rejection lose twenty five thousand dollars head right on back towards twenty thousand dollars and obviously that's going to pull the rest of the market with it but if we do look at something like bitcoin 
Bitcoin dominance. Well, what we can see here is that Bitcoin dominance says that that might not happen. And that even no matter what Bitcoin does, the altcoins could be in position to start to see some growth. It is a possibility. What you can see here is that Bitcoin dominance, which is the amount of the total market cap that is held by Bitcoin. So for example, if Bitcoin's total market cap is $50 and the entire market cap of crypto is $100, then that means Bitcoin dominance is 50% because 50 is, you know, 50% of 100. And what you can see here is that this thing is getting rejected off of a massive level of resistance and seems to be in position to return back to this trend line before eventually breaking out. I do think we're going to see Bitcoin dominance break out, but I think we're likely to get a rejection first. The reason I think we're likely to get a rejection first is look at history, right? Historically, when we get up to the top side of this level, this chart prime oscillator starts to flash with that overbought reading. We start to get the bearish divergence into the pullback. We also will get this blue peak finder flashing and the red, bull, um, the red bearish reversal signal flashing. That mixture of four leads to a pull back as we can see here off of this pullback here what happened overbought red reversal triangles right here boom peak finders flashing boom bearish divergence flashing boom led to a pullback what can we see right here boom right here overbought flashing no peak finders just yet no peak finders just yet but we are getting that bearish divergence and two bearish momentum dots flashing all of these things say yeah we're probably likely to see bitcoin dominance pull back at least towards this trend line currently around 44 percent and if bitcoin dominance pulls back that means altcoins are outperforming bitcoin which would make a lot of sense right now considering the fact that total two is sitting directly at a level which it seems like it is ready to break so what i want you to watch very closely is watch these key levels of resistance on your altcoins that two thousand dollar level for ethereum that $1.25 level for Matic, the $337 level for BNB, that $0.55 cent level for XRP. All of those levels could very well get broken incredibly soon, and I think that we're getting prepared to do so. Now, in the extreme short term, a pullback wouldn't necessarily freak me out in the slightest because we did just break out of a massive level of resistance, right? As you can see here, we are still getting rejection on this level, and we are getting some overbought indicators flashing on the shorter time frame, which does say that we might get a little bit of a pullback. You can see we have this little mini trend line here forming towards the downside in which we did put in of course this support and this support so it wouldn't shock me whatever whatsoever to see a bit of a pullback maybe to bounce off of this level and then we get some growth and who knows maybe that coincides with this bitcoin dominance peak finder finally flashing up here and then it does something like that and finally pulls back to the downside right that's well within the realm of possibility so even if in the short term our alts do get a little bit of rejection to the downside as long as it's not due to some absolutely terrible news it seems as if we are going to put in that higher low and then we're going to be in a beautiful position to really see some growth back up towards the upside possibly seeing our altcoins absolutely Absolutely crushing some of those key levels of resistance. So make sure that you do pay very close attention to that. I will continue to update you in the form of shorts on each specific one. Yesterday, I posted BNB, Matic, Ada Cardano, Bitcoin, XRP. I did all of their short-term technical analysis so that you could stay as up-to-date as possible with it. So make sure you do check out the short section and turn on those notifications there. And also, many of you do ask me what that chart prime oscillator is that I use, and it's all available in the link down below. You get 30% off on all of their indicators, all of their oscillators. I use literally everything every single one of them and they are by far a game changer and it's basically a cheat sheet for what you can expect next so with that said that's going to be about it for today's video and of course i hope you guys did enjoy if you did you can always let me know easily and simply by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new and i will see you all next time peace